the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 19th day of October, being Wednesday, with 29 in the time of the church calendar year C. And today, the monarch of St. John the Brie Blebuff, as he juggles that priests, that Jesus priests and brothers, and companions who were martyred in North America. I read this will be coming from St. Paul letter to the Ephesians chapter 3, verse 2 to 12. A response to the sound will come from Psalm, Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3. A response, God's message will come from Luke also chapter 12, verse 39 to 48. Today we are talking about faithful and wise steward. Faithful and wise steward. And what does it take to be a faithful servant? What does it take to be a, a, a wise steward? To do, know what is required of you and do it at the proper time. That's what it all demands. To be faithful to the message, to the function, message, be wise enough to carry it out at the proper time. Do the needful. Why people are dishonest today is that they're not faithful to their callings. They are not wise enough to know what they're supposed to do. Or they know they won't didn't do it. And that's why Jesus was telling the disciples today, a parable said, Know this, that if the householder had known the hour the thief would come to his house, he would be awake. He would not allow his house to be broken into. Now, after telling them this, he said, You will not have to. He said, You also must be ready. For you know the only hour the Son of Man is coming. You must be ready. Yes, if I'm ready, don't tell me tomorrow. Don't say after. Now. Be ready now. You can come now. That's why you must be ready every minute of the day. And that's why holiness is just have to be your life. Every moment of your life must be holy. You must be in this state of grace every minute. Because the hour God can call you any second. It's something you can gamble with. And when he said this, Peter said, is this Bible for us or for every other person? Jesus said, who do you then think is a, is a faithful and wise steward who carry out all the purpose of his master, give to the servants food in due time, do the needful? He said, oh, who is that? And when lucky the servant who the master will come and see him doing what he ought to uh, the needful, she will set him over the position of his heart. Of his property. Yes, that will be a reward. We we'll put him in position of all his property, set him over all his position. But not all that the foolish servant, unfaithful servant, who, when the master left, said the master had taken his time, he won't come back in time, and started eating and drinking, and beating the male servant and the male, servant, male and Mess servants, beating them and starving them. And the master will come and that way they never thought and will punish him as the serf, unfaithful servant. Will give him punishment as the, the unfair, unfaithful servant. Throw him out of his business and throw him into hell. And now why Jesus is warning all of us about this. See, you drink and get drunk. That's why when you see these disobedient leaders in Nigeria, they always get eat and drink and get possession and possess and possess and get drunk. And possess and possess and they don't know what to do with money again. And their people are starving to the detriment of the common good. They say become important and more important than the community that are too late. And they said they will get the required punishment. And he said to them, any servant who knows what the master wants and do, fails to do it will get a severe punishment. 
And even a person who doesn't know what the master wants, but acted wrongly, will be punished. But not as serious as the man who knows. To whom much is given, much is expected. If much is trusted into your heart, much is expected of you. That's why people are sparring for high office here and there. They thought it's just go and eat and eat and drink. It's not true. The more you go into the high office, the more responsibilities that it pulls upon you. And the more vulnerable you are to failure if you don't take time. So if much, to him much is given, of him will much be demand, required. And of him to whom men commit much, they will demand the more. Yes. Yes. That's what we're talking about, the president of Nigeria. We put everything in his hand, trusted him in everything. In process, do our vote for him, supported him, led him to sacrifice for him, and they turned us into animals. They turned us to into animals. And butcher us left and right. Burn us, kidnap us, kill us, dehumanize us, deny us of our fundamental human rights. And make a mockery of our, human be our humanity. Look at it, that we're worried. If we didn't trust him, we wouldn't have asked him for anything. But he betrayed the whole trust he put upon him. And what we're talking about. We trusted these people and they became dishonest, disobedient, and useless. I'm busy eating and drinking to the detriment of the community. And that's why today, to make you to know what it means to be a faithful servant, that's what Paul was telling the Paul was talking to the, uh, the officials. He said, Brethren, I assume that you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for you. For you. you see, Paul recognized that God chose him, gave him a spirit grace for the good of others. It's a responsibility imposed upon him. He said, you know as much. How the mystery was made known to me by revelation. The mystery that was hidden for generations was made to him by revelation. This thing that was hidden for generations had been made available to the holy apostles and the prophets. And what is the mystery? That the Gentiles even are heirs and members of the God's family. And how can they do that? By the gospel message. When they accept the gospel message, that turn into the children of God. Remember John chapter 1, verse 12. Once you accept this word, you are made a child of God. That's the, the Gentiles, or the pagans, will now turn to be heirs of the same family. The same thing without the sense. Paul said this was hidden. And was only reviewed recently. And that's why he was appointed as apostle to the Gentiles. That was his mission. That's why he was chosen as an apostle. You see why he was chosen a faithful servant. And that's why he carried out. He spent his life doing that. And he's happy doing that. And never lamented it. That's what Paul is telling the Ephesians today. This thing that was hidden has been made available to us. And it has made known to the principalities and powers of the heaven, heavenly places. This was according to the eternal purpose which he has realized in Christ, Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and confidence of access through faith in him. We are able to assess this mysteries through our faith and boldness in Christ who made it available to all of us. And that's why he became a faithful and why still was. He did it for us. And now when the psalmist who understood it so well today, they say, with joy you will draw water from the well of the Savior. Yes, one day out. You draw water from the well of our Savior. You draw water from the you draw water from the well of salvation and well, well, well of our Savior. So that's it. And that's why we are faithful, as faithful and wise stewards for this mystery. And Paul is take, making us know it today. And that's why. That the, we are celebrating St. John the Brebeuf, Isaac and his colleagues. This is 
Jesus, six Jesus priests and, mission, and brothers who were sent to Northern America to evangelize the people. And they went to all good men to make them see the light, to bring the good news of salvation to them. And what did they get? They were captured, tortured, and killed by the people who didn't know the need. Don't see any belief, saw them as an aberration, saw them as a nuisance to their lives. They prefer darkness to light and decided to quench the light that wants to give them light in their mission of darkness. That's why the church is celebrating them today. And the blood becomes the, the, the water for salvation of the people. And we're celebrating them. They are worthy, they are faithful, and wise to us. May God help us understand the need to be wise and a faithful steward of Christ today. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God come upon all of us. I will celebrate our privilege of being a faithful and wise stewards of Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.